Hello and welcome back to another video guys. In this video I will go through the basic settings that this um, hotel ultralight can do. It's probably the best one in the market for its value. Um, I highly recommend this one. Um, obviously we've plugged it into a Nissan NV400, it's the van. Um, and there are so many things you can do uh, in the background obviously. Uh, you know coding or anything like in particular so for instance we've done a full scan okay and if you wanted to go into the engine um, within the engine you've got live data obviously your trouble codes which tells you what's wrong with them you've got your live data as well you've got active tests and special functions your live data will show you all the components on the engine that are running and give you um figures on so that's that and then with the active test there is quite a lot of things um, as you can see there's two pages but obviously you think okay that's not enough and for instance if you was to go into let's say thermal and then you've got like pages and pages of different things you can actually go into so it's pretty handy when it comes to like pinpointing some spiff, you know, like specific things down. Um, so you've got all them, and then coming back out of this, okay, going into special functions. I mean, you've got like your DPF and stuff probably here. So yeah, downstream knocks. These are common for DPF. These van, the Renault Master, the the Vauxhall Mavanos. They're all same engine literally, and they're all known for like DPF issues. Um, still can't believe dealer won't recall on them really but I mean you've got like replacement of DPF you've got like reset of oil um, you've got quite various different things and then if we come back out of this and then if we can let it just do its bit here once that's done we'll go into hot functions and see what there is so you've got these but i wouldn't like um how can i put it so like you can't not every single thing will 100 percent work so for instance suspension that, that, that'll be in there but obviously this is just normal springs it's not like it's air suspension with sensors on there so i don't really bother much with it but tires yes you can change so i have done it on the voxels uh, i'm not gonna play about with it too much here uh, well it doesn't support it there you go that's another uh, amazing thing so your gearbox turbo um again like i said not everything works it may show the image but it may not work uh transport mode is good for instance like i've um so like you've sold a vehicle and you want to like put it into a lock mode so it doesn't like i think it depends what you want it to do um and then you won't like do much so you won't, probably wouldn't go like turn on on some of them you won't like go above specific speed coding so you've got online coding you've got to have the subscription to be able to do this otherwise you won't work that's that's the key so i'm not gonna no i'm gonna be a naughty person there you go no no yeah, that's fine so there it really this is the basic and this is the ultra light um it is pretty handy and it's quite big i'm not gonna lie it's I had the MS908S Pro, I think, MS908S8 or 6S Pro prior to this on the previous videos, you can, you'll see it. And that was like quite smaller than this. And but it does more or less the same thing. And make sure, obviously, if you want anything coded in, you need the J2, whatever it's called, the flash, basically, the VCI flash. Um, otherwise, you can't really code um, anything in. But yeah, this is just a brief little thing if you have any comments or anything questions really just put it in the comments really below and i'll uh, try and get back to you as soon as i can but you've got to bear in mind there's like a, probably a good 30 40 messages come through every day so i won't be able to reply back to everyone in that sense um but yeah there you are 